going to continue. Now I'm going to continue with the second part of this tutorial. And in this part, I'm going to go a little bit faster. So I'll show you, first of all, the molecule. And this is just two fluorine atoms bonded together. And over here, we want to do like we did before. We want to show that fluorine is going to have two atoms. And each of those atoms is going to bring a total of seven valence electrons because fluorine is in column 17 or 7, depending on your periodic chart, and will carry seven valence electrons. But there's two fluorine atoms, so we have a total of 14. Now, the first thing we do, like before, we're going to put down the two fluorine atoms. And those fluorine atoms are connected by one line, which, do you remember what that line means? That's right, two valence electrons. So this is what we started with, total of 14. And we're going to now subtract two, because that's what we needed to be able to put the molecule together. Now we have 12 left. Because we have 12 left, let's try and see if we can split those up between those two atoms. And so we'll take one, two, three, four, five, six for this atom on the right. And we'll take the other six for the atom on the left. Now, we have to follow two rules. One is that there has to be a total of 14 atoms. 14 atoms is what we had at the very beginning, right here. Okay? We used up two electrons putting the atoms together, which is what happened. That's that line between the two Fs. And then the total number of electrons that we had left were right here. And that 12, we, we used the dots around the fluorine, six for each. And now let's see if we follow the two rules. One is everybody has to have eight electrons. So this fluorine on the left, if we count our electrons, I'm going to point as I, as I uh, count them, two, four, six, oops, first down here, eight. Okay, that's for the fluorine on the left. And you'll notice I'm going to count the fluorine on the right is going to be able to count those two electrons also. So I have that line I just drew, which is two. And I'll complete this line that I drew in error. That's four, six, and eight. So each fluorine now is boasting eight electrons, and the fluorine is very happy because he looks like neon. He, that is, his um, electron configuration looks like neon. And so he has a total of eight electrons for each fluorine. And as we count, let's go around and count the uh, dots. We've got two, four, six on the left and two, four, six on the right for a total of 12. And then the line in the middle is a total of two more to give us our 14, which we saw over here. And that was what we started with, 14. All right, let's go on and do another one. We'll do this a little bit faster now. We have ammonia represented by the formula NH3. And with ammonia being NH3, we can now go and let, let's put this little guy together, first of all, with the bonding electrons. So why is nitrogen in the middle? Because hydrogen can only have two electrons. Because hydrogen, when he gets two electrons, is going to look like an electron configuration. His electron configuration will look just like helium. So he's going to be a happy little camper. Now, I've built the molecule just hanging it together with a bonding pair between each of the atoms around the nitrogen. We can't put hydrogen in the middle because hydrogen only needs two. So hydrogen is on the outside. He can never be in the middle because if he's ever in the middle and there's more than two atoms in the molecule, he will wind up with a total of more than two electrons, and he won't like that. In fact, he will never tolerate that. 
So let's go over and let's let's do our little molecule breakdown for for uh, electrons. Nitrogen is in column 15, which means or in column five, depending on which chart you have. And those five electrons are going to be representing the contribution from nitrogen of its valence electrons to the molecule. Now we also have three hydrogens. Those three hydrogens each bring in one electron. So we have a total of three from the hydrogen, which gives us eight total here, like we had earlier for uh, water. Now, how many electrons have we used so far? If we look at the little structure that I put together, the nitrogen has uh, eight, or I'm sorry, six electrons around him. Each of those lines, and there's three lines now that are connecting the hydrogens to the nitrogen, are boasting two electrons each. So we've got to subtract six electrons from the total that we had, and that gives us two left. And those two, we're going to put right here. And why can't we put them on the hydrogens? Well, hydrogen can only take two electrons. He's already got them. All of these hydrogens had two electrons already. Now, do we have a total of eight electrons as we started out? Let's count them. The two dots at the top of the nitrogen are two. And then we have three lines all joining to the nitrogen, and that's another six. So that's eight electrons. We have the right number, and so we've got the right total, which accounts for this. And now let's see if we have the right, the right um, uh, number for each of the individual atoms. This, hi this hydrogen right here, let's draw a line to it, this little hydrogen, has two electrons because he's touching the line, so he's happy. This hydrogen has two electrons, and this hydrogen has two electrons, so all the hydrogens are happy. And now let's look at our nitrogen. He's supposed to have eight. So does he have eight? Each of the lines account, uh, the, those three lines, each of them accounting for two electrons, would give us six, and then the two dots at the top give us a total of eight. So nitrogen's happy, all the hydrogens are happy, and we've used up a total of eight electrons. So we have a correct Lewis structure. And that's the end of part two.